Hi there, Lorraine here, transmitting from a place called St Ives in Cambridgeshire. Now I'm out with my camper van Betty and I'm living my bliss, I'm living with passion, purpose and positivity. That's what this channel is all about. Now today's topic is how you can impact others. How you can impact others by deliberately connecting to intention. Now I've called it intention, but you can call it high vibration, being in alignment, being connected to source energy. You can call it any of them things. But I've recently downloaded a book with Audible called The Power of Intention by Wayne Dyer. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's, he's dead now, but he was very, very inspiring. And he reads, reads the Audible, Audible book out and his voice is so lovely. And in that book, one of the chapters tells you how you can impact others by deliberately choosing to be connected to intention. Wayne Dyer got his information from a book called Power Versus Force by Dr. David Hawkins. He did a 29 year research on how people can impact others just by their high vibration. And I'm gonna read out a few statistics here um, I have written it down just to make sure I've got it right. But Wayne Dyer was saying about if we didn't have these people in this world, we would self-destruct. But there's many people in this world that deliver deliberately live of a high vibration, in alignment and optimistic and positive all the time. They do counterbalance the other people. So when I'm saying counterbalance, if I say I ca you counterbalance so many people, you counterbalance balance so many people on the planet meaning that that person's negativity you balance out the planet's like collective vibration now he says someone who I'm going to read it out someone who is optimistic and non-judgmental optimistic most of the time non-judgmental you impact 90,000 people on the planet. You counterbalance 90,000 people that are negative on the planet. Wow. So just by staying optimistic, you're helping the planet. And I know you probably don't realise that, but this is, this is research by Dr. David Hawkins. So it's well worth staying positive because you know by staying positive and non-judgmental, non-judgment, you don't have to judge people, let people be who they are, let them live their lives, you don't have to judge. And I personally find it a little bit challenging to be non-judgmental because we are, we're all not judgmental, aren't we? But to just allow, allow people to live their lives without judgment, that's a great thing to do, isn't it? So the next thing was a person living in pure love and reverence for all life will counterbalance 70,000 people on the planet of a lower negative vibration. Wow, 70,000 people somewhere on the planet you are counterbalancing by having a reverence for love. So and the next one he talks about is illumination, bliss and inner peace. You counterbalance 10 million people on the planet. And apparently there's 22 such people alive today. Right, the next one is a person who lives in grace, pure spirit, beyond the body, in complete oneness, counterbalances 70 million people on the planet. And there's 10 people like that today. And then one avatar living at the highest level of consciousness, e.g. Krishna, Buddha and Jesus, would, if they lived today, counterbalance all mankind. So yeah, so it's, you know, you think by, it's not worth, that's a boat going past. <laughs> so you think that you're not affecting the planet, but you are, and this is science and research that has shown this. So, yeah, I invite you today to help the planet counterbalance all the negativity on the planet by deliberately choosing to feel good, deliberately choosing to feel positive, staying in alignment, following your bliss, doing what you love. I'm doing what I love today by just walking along and walking by this river and staying in my camper van. Do what you love. Yours might not be that. Yours is something else. Yours might be reading, fishing, keeping fit, anything. Deliberately try and stay positive because the world and your ego will try and bring you down. 
But you know better now, you know that you can help this planet just by staying in alignment and connecting to the power of intention. I recommend this book, The Power of Intention, by Dr. Wayne Dyer. Anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody. Blessings, much love, and namaste.